This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Kansas entered the Union as a free state on January 29, 1861, and as a free state, it was a mecca for many freed people from the South. We have many towns that were settled by the exodusters, those folks that were looking for a better life, and many of them found it here in the Sunflower State. Michelle brings us some of those stories this morning. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Deb. Throughout her history, Kansas has been associated with wide open spaces and freedom. Today, I want to share the amazing story of the Exodusters and their search for freedom in Kansas. After the close of the Civil War, formerly enslaved men, women, and children looked to the American West as a place to build new lives. Kansas became a focal point for African-American migration after the war. Kansas was associated with freedom because of the state's struggle over the slavery issue from 1854 to 1861. By 1870, over 17,000 free blacks called Kansas home. In 1873, 300 men, women, and children led by Benjamin Singleton settled near Baxter Springs. This was the first party of black migrants led by Singleton. A former slave from Tennessee, Singleton was seen as a new Moses leading free blacks to the promised land of Kansas. He used his skills as an orator and promoter to spur on settlement activity. From 1879 to 1881, Kansas saw the largest influx of exodusters. New all-black towns and colonies dotted the Kansas landscape. Founded in 1877, Morton City was located three miles north of Jetmore. 107 individuals, including Lafayette Green, called the town home. He arrived with only $14 to purchase land and start a new life. Dunlap Colony in Morris County was founded in May 1878. The colony boasted a school, literary society, and business academy. John Sumner and his family called Dunlap Colony their home. Some settlements like Rattlebone Hollow, Hogstown, and Mississippi Town were located within the boundaries of present-day Kansas City. The bottoms in Tennessee Town were located in Topeka. Tennessee Town settled by 500 migrants, was situated in North Topeka and featured schools, homes, and businesses. Founded by Reverend Alfred Fairfax, Little Caney Colony was situated in Chautauqua County. Fairfax brought 200 families with him to settle in Kansas. Some exodusters like Junius Groves and his wife Matilda settled near Edwardsville, apart from an established exoduster community. He arrived in Kansas in 1879 with 99 cents. By 1902, he was the potato king of the world and grew more bushels per acre than any other producer. He became a successful produce grower and shipper and was one of the nation's wealthiest African Americans at the turn of the century. Despite battling the elements, financial hardships, and racism, the exodusters and their communities in Kansas represented hard-won freedom for African Americans. Today, you can visit the exoduster community of Nicodemus, a unit of the National Park Service, and learn more about Kansas's all black towns. I hope you enjoyed today's show and that you'll join me next time for another historical adventure somewhere around Kansas. Once again, thank you for sharing your Wednesday morning with me. I'm Deb Goodrich, God bless y'all. And I'll see you somewhere around Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. Looks like it's time for our tour. Welcome to the Fort Wallace Museum. Here at the museum, you're gonna find some really interesting stuff like our replica stagecoach from the Butterfield Overland Dispatch. We've got facades from the fort buildings. And we've got an 1870s flag. There's a plesiosaur that was discovered locally. We've got the Ray pump organ collection. We're a little bit place with a great big story and we'd love to have you. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. I'm Bob Swartz, 
and I've devoted the last 43 years to helping Kansans reach their retirement goals and to protect the family farm. At Bob Swartz Financial, we believe everyone should be able to live the retirement they've always dreamed of. Our team of professionals can help you create an efficient strategy using a variety of investment vehicles to help you address your financial needs and your concerns. Bob Swartz Financial values, commitment, and transparency. At Farm Credit, we partner with America's farmers who work hard each and every day to grow the food that we all enjoy. It's not an easy task, but it's an important one. Farm Credit is proud to work with farmers and ranchers, lending support in rural America. Ag Promo Source is a unique group of marketing specialists with one mission, help your ag business grow. Each affiliate has their own area of expertise and they work together to bring you advice, products, and services. To get started, visit agpromosource.com. Ag Promo Source, together we grow.